So tell me, like, I know there's this, like, whole concept of circular fashion, which is becoming mm -hmm. more popular right now, everyone. And I see a lot of companies, too, talking about circular fashion. Um, is it the same as slow fashion? Or, or how, how are they similar or how are they different? Yeah. So circular fashion is a form of slow fashion, but not all slow fashion is circular. Um, so it's kind of like the square rectangle yeah. thing that we all learned. Um, but circular fashion is really focused on being a closed loop system. So what that means is that when we produce clothes in a circular fashion model, we're already thinking about their next use after they've lost value in their current use. Mm. So for example, if you bought a pair of jeans from a circular fashion brand, when you were done with those jeans, you would send them back to that company and they would shred up the jeans or decompose them and then turn them into a new product. So that's circular fashion where they're, you know, they're thinking about how to keep it continuously in use. Right. Um, slow fashion can definitely be circular uh, but slow fashion is a little bit broader because it doesn't, it's more focused on the current use of the item. So has it been produced ethically? Is it of high quality? And how can we extend the life of the garment as it is in its current value state? Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's great to know because I think it can be confusing, especially if you start seeing all these terms, right? Like you Yeah. And especially with companies, they just throw all these terms and, and you really don't know which one, what it is, you know, what's really true and what is it that you're actually supporting, right? When you're buying from that brand. So it's really good to know like the differences between those two. 